Oh, wee oui, wee, oui. oh, I have a French mustache going on, I need to shave, oh. You know, someone asked me the other day on, on the comments, like, they don't understand why someone that is interested in free-forming their hair decides to shave their mustache and their beard or just their mustache. And it is weird, I ask myself, why, why? Why do I free-form and shave my mustache? But I don't like the look of mustache and the feel of it on my lip. So I like to shave this part. But I like the beard. I want. I wish I could grow the beard. I hate shaving the neck. But I need to grow a neck beard in one day too. Freeform the neck beard. Anyways, we're not talking about freeforms today. We're talking about uh, Mr. Montre Livingston, professional rollerblader, longtime legend in the game. If you haven't known, Knotlocks is a rollerblader. Yes. I got skates here, man. These ones are actually old school. The Solomons, this is what I was brought up on, man. In the year 2001, these came out. And um, these skates are revolutionary, actually. The first of its kind, UFS, you know what I'm talking about. I got another pair of them here, but these are just for fun. These aren't my serial skates. Um, but Montre is one hell of a skater. So if you guys wanna check out this video, he's got some pretty dope set of locks as well. Definitely enjoy. Um, let's see what it's about. Starting this video off directly with Montre Livingston, I found this throwback photo of him when he was just a Yiluko Ute. And if you notice in this picture, his hair is actually in a ponytail. Would have been in the braiding stage at this point. So I'm actually glad I found this photo um, to talk about uh, his journey now. Uh, more for his dreadlocks, what you'll see him for today. Um, he is a professional rollerblader. Uh, North Carolina and a protege of a rollerblader named Dre Powell. And this kid came up on the rise in the skate scene, notoriously for his dreadlocks. Um, funny enough in this photo, I wanted to call it the not locks look, but I know it's not because I got the look from like two chains and, and what have you. So maybe it's a two chains look with the dreads and the glasses like this, but the frames. But a lot of people seem to be rocking this look no diggity um montre's locks today have changed a lot over the years um more so to date uh, you see that the sides have been shaved and a lot of them combined via the rope technique which is just like basically uh, tying yarn around your dreads to combine them you see a lot of white people doing this with their locks not so much popular in the in the african-american dread game but is is sick that he's rocking i mean it's for anybody i just see more white people doing it more like how you see black people eating watermelon more what a stereotypical picture he's trying to portray here it's hilarious um one thing about montre's locks with them being so long and he always skates with them down in his face um Notoriously known for his misty flips right here and his locks just flying every which direction while he's in the air really characterizes his skating style. Uh, so, I mean, that's another benefit of actually having locks is that it really characterizes yourself. Um, this is the, the, the rope technique I was trying to tell you about earlier. Uh, basically, you just tie the rope around in um, more of a crosshatch pattern and it, and it locks your hair. And I think he's done this to a lot of his locks to combine them because he is very few in the locks now compared to earlier in the game when he had like honestly probably around 200 dreads on his head they were really thin really long and nowadays he just combined them to make them thicker and shaved them so there's less on his head making it easier to skate so i don't blame him for cutting off all those locks uh, more they're like this back in the day um very similar to how i styled mine uh, he was an inspiration as well of, of mine to get in locks like so obviously very twisted very cylindrical very thin very plentiful i'm not sure why this um, style is so popular amongst dreads and when people want dreads they usually idolize about this style and I don't get it anymore because um, 
I, I, I don't think they're unique at all. They're very boring, uh, and there's not much character to them because anybody who's anybody can have single twists like this. But it takes some real character to kind of like combine and shave and kind of let them grow more naturally, especially growing them more naturally in the freeform route. Uh, but looking at this photo here, we can see that the sides are shaved um, a lot more combined at the back, just keeping it less on his head. I can't say I've really seen anybody else with dreads like this. Uh, so it's cool. I just think it's really cool that he's still rocking the locks after all these years. Although, um, I think it's inevitable that, you know, hair just doesn't get thicker over time, especially in locks. So with a lot of wear on your head, like 15 years strong with locks weighing you down, you're going to see some sort of pulling back, some sort of partings in areas that you don't want to be parted. Um, looking at these photos with the ribbons tied to them, the string, a lot of the white string is very dutty now and I'm not sure if this is a good factor or not because I feel that the string might actually trap moisture and dirt in your locks especially the way he's rocking them it doesn't really seem like he's washing it as much because that once the rope gets dirty and it's like it's staining your locks almost so it's questionable the act of tying your locks together like that I did find um, mold in my interlocks and it, it is a form of tying your hair together um, and I was braiding my hair together at that point, combining them. So I think it's just at risk of leaving more potential to trapping moisture and mildew in your hair by doing this. Just my opinion. I don't know. You guys might have something different. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But it does look pretty cool. I won't lie to you. It looks pretty dope having them all tied up like that. Uh, finishing off here with... with um, Crazy locks flying all over the air is another part of his character that he that he traits with his dreads skating. I think it takes another skill set above rollerblading alone to be able to skate with your hair out or do any sport with your hair out like this and not tied back. He's actually saving his hairline by doing so and not having his hair tied back. Come and think about it, we didn't see a single photo with his hair tied back besides when he was a ute before he had the dreads. So take that into consideration and this photo is pretty amazing because you can see that his locks have shortened over the time but he kept the one lock wrapped up as kind of a rat tail to show his original length on his first set of locks i have seen people do this in the past just as kind of a trophy to show people how long their hair was before um so uh, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Um, definitely hit you up in the next video. Uh, I will be working my ass off to get some more Dread Reviews out. And of course, Dreadlock updates on my own part. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video though. So, till then. I'm astonished by his, um, his skating abilities, to be honest. Uh, you can go look on YouTube, Google his name. You'll see a ton of shit come up. Uh, so... Um, that one's in the bag. Uh, I definitely am a fan of Montre's locks. It's cool that how he's manipulated them over the years to kind of accommodate to his profession. To stay light, but stay agile at the same time. Something to think about in the lock game. So uh, let me know in your comments below what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.